mentioned before, one of the veterans of the catch and fetch division is this fellow, Ashley Whippet, who's been world champion quite a few times, and although Ashley's slowing down with age somewhat, he still displays his championship form in front of a crowd. Selecting a canine safe disc. Stay away from human and promotional discs that are made from a hard, rigid plastic that tends to crack, leaving sharp edges that may leave tongue and mouth injuries on your dog. Dog safe discs are made of a softer plastic that is more pliable and bendy with a rounded rim. Choose a disc that is appropriate size and weight for your dog. There are heavy discs for dogs with a really hard bite, and there's lighter, softer discs for more gentler dogs and puppies. I prefer to start with a fabric disc or a rubber floppy disc. For new beginner dogs and puppies, they have a little bit more bend to them, so they're easier to catch in the air and learn how to catch. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna introduce the Frisbee to our dogs as a toy. Start in a non-distracting environment, like the bedroom, hallway, backyard, uh, where your dog can really focus. Get really excited about the toy, move it back and forth on the ground, let your dog grab it, play with it, do a little tug, have a good time with it, get them really excited about it. Here I'm going to start using our tug work to introduce a little bit of a default drop. She's going to tug a little bit, I'm going to bring it in quiet, she's going to automatically let go of it, then I'm going to give it to her again. This is eventually going to turn into a retrieve to hand. Next, we're going to teach our dog to go around the handler as we throw the frisbee. This will increase your dog's catch ratio as when you release the disc, they're already in forward motion facing the disc and you can track it and catch it much better than when you throw over the top of their head and they have to turn around and find it. We're going to start this by just doing takes. Now that you have your dog going around, go ahead and stand up and we're going to start doing some moving takes. The take is when your dog takes the Frisbee from your hand. You're not throwing it yet, but your take is you're going to move the Frisbee in your hand and it's going to stimulate what a flying Frisbee would look like. You're going to start just with the dog having it take out of your hand and then it may be a little tiny few inch toss, becomes a one foot toss and a two foot toss. Just stay right where your dog can be successful. Okay, now we're gonna start putting it all together. We're gonna start with really, really short tosses. We're gonna watch our dog and place the disc right in front of where they're gonna be. It's our job to make every toss a catchable toss for the dog. Okay, now that your dog is going around and catching the Frisbee with a solid retrieve, you are ready for toss and fetch. There are several organizations that offer this. It's about one minute to 90 seconds, depending on the organization, one Frisbee, one dog. Throw as many times as you can, as far as you can, and rack up your points further down the field, the higher the points. For those that want to venture into freestyle, multi-disc play is essential. Getting your dog to switch out and drop on the run and go for the next disc. How I start this with a new dog is toss the first one, and when the dog is coming back, have them bite and grab the second one. And then you're gonna progress that into that second one becomes a little toss, and the third one becomes a bite and grab. Basic freestyle patterns with multi-disc play include the zigzag, around the world, and the pass-bys. This is where the dog is catching multiple frisbees in a pattern, dropping on the run and continuing the line that they're on for the next catch. This is a nice way to introduce freestyle patterning to the dog without flips and vaults. The judges like to see creative tosses, so every time you toss the disc, make sure your release is different. Everybody wants to learn the flip. The first step is to get your dog lined up in front of you. The arc that you're going to release your frisbee in is from their shoulder to their hip. Every dog is different. You'll have to find the little sweet spot. Overs are different than vaults because in an over, the dog is not actually touching you. Present the frisbee before the obstacle for the over. For a knee vault, make sure you use the knee closest to the dog and that your lean back not in the way. First, just do a take. Have the dog take it out of your hand and have it far enough away from your body, at least the length of your dog. 
Here we're going to use a platform to teach the vault using a take. Remember to present the disc at least the dog's body length away from the dog. So if the dog nose to butt is 10 inches, you want to be at least 10 inches away from the dog. Now we're going to start the dog on the ground just before the platform, maybe a body length or two away from the platform so they can start getting their feet underneath them while they're jumping for the frisbee. Now you can start letting go of the disc right as the dog gets there, creating a little teeny tiny toss. I like vaults to be more Superman style, not necessarily height. Create a nice safe vault for your dog and a safe landing. We start back vaults the same way, with just showing them and having them take it right out of our hand. Let's break this down. First, you got to get your dog in position, get yourself in position, and have the dog wait and stay. Next, you will verbally cue the dog as what it is you're looking for. Tell him vault, and then you're going to lower the disc and pizza toss it up into the air with enough space for the dog's body between the disc and your body. Oh. 